Hey guys, Fred Hope here from Slingshot Sports. Today we're at Forest Kite and Wake and we're gonna talk about how to fine tune your ride with stabilizers depending on your skill level. So below me on the table, we have the four stabilizers that Slingshot offers. Before we talk about any of them, we're gonna talk about the different axes in hydrofoiling. So you've got pitch, which is up and down, front to back. That's the hardest one to master in the beginning because your body's not used to leaning forward on the board. Then you have yaw, which is the horizontal axis that is sometimes at play, which is basically turning your hips to get the board to respond. Then you have roll, which is like a plane banking on a turn going around to land at, a, at an airport. This is the third axis and the, probably the hardest one to master um, because your body starts to go off the side of the rail of the board. So it's quite challenging unless you kind of work through this system that we're going to explain right now. So on your right, we have the PS400. This is the stabilizer we recommend for almost everybody getting into foiling. The reason for that is that it's stable in those three axes that I just explained. So in the pitch, it's very stable. In the yaw, it's stable because of these wing tips. And in the roll, it's quite stable because of the way the, the wing curves as it goes out to the wing tip. Um, so this one, in addition to those three axes that are controlled, it has a thicker profile as well. So it holds the foil from going too fast and getting out of control when you're beginning. When you outgrow that stabilizer, you'll know because you'll feel like your foil is not really accelerating as quickly as you want it to and you want it to respond a little bit faster. So after this PS400, we recommend going to the PS360 or what we call the V-Stab. As you can see, it is a very different shape from the 400 and when you look at it from the front, it's a lot thinner. That thinner profile means that it's going to go faster through the water and the lack of wingtips that you see because it's so flat is going to unlock that first axis that we talked about, which is the yaw, the horizontal axis. So this is going to make it feel like you're kind of a little bit on ice. You've, you've released your foil a little bit from that governing system that you have with the PS400 and you're allowing it to respond a little bit quicker in the yaw when you start to shift your hip. So it's basically what you learn to turn on. After that, you'll start to feel that you wanna start banking the foil over from side to side, pushing on one rail or the other. That's a sign that you can move up to the PS340 or what we call the turbo tail. This one, as you can see, also has that thin profile like the V-Stab but it has a little bit more curve from the center going out to the wingtip. This means that it's more able to roll and keep stability when it does that, instead of rolling and starting to fall off to one side. So it unlocks the roll axes, as well as having a little bit of unlocked yaw. What it doesn't do is unlock too much of the pitch, which is the front to back. We'll talk about that later with the PS325. But with the 340, this is probably what most people will grow into and never really grow out of. It's very able to do whatever you throw at it and it doesn't feel too locked in in any of those axes. But if you start to want to push a little bit harder and you feel like you're blowing out the fins on your surfboard and you want to have those fins stay locked in, you can move up to the 325. You can see here the 325 has much bigger wing tips. These act as fins, so they hold the foil straight in the water and keep it tracking. So there's no yaw movement. This is my personal favorite because I like to have that yaw be really locked, but I want the roll to be quite unlocked and the pitch to be unlocked as well so that I can cause the foil to do whatever I want as fast as I want. But know that when I'm doing those high speed banking turns, I'm not gonna lose stability in the, in the yaw axis as I'm going through. So that's a little breakdown of our stabilizers. We call it the stabilizer step method. It's basically progressing through the stabs instead of through the front wings because it's a cheaper option to get you a much different feel in your stabilizer. So if you're feeling like your foil is a little boring or kind of holding you back a little bit wherever you are at the stage in the stabilizer step method, you can move up to the next stabilizer that we offer. Uh, let me know if you have any questions here at Forest Kite and Wake.